Okay, today we're gonna look at grams and the different ones. We have a one gram, we have five grams, 10 grams, 20, 50, and even a kilogram. So first off, we're gonna see the difference in the types of grams. So we have one gram right here, and then we put five grams over here. You can obviously see that the five grams is bigger than the one gram. But let's say we put a 10 gram over with the one gram. And you can see that obviously is bigger than the five grams. And the same can be said with 20. But what if we put a 50 over with the 10 and the one? And then you can see that 61 grams is bigger than 25. But then I have a kilogram. Some kids have trouble seeing how big a kilogram is, so we have that right here. And a kilogram is a thousand grams, so we put that right here. And you could see, I could put 50 grams, 20, 10, five, and then one, and it doesn't even budge. So if we put, say, all of these in here, none of it would add up to a thousand grams. That would make it equal to a kilogram. One thing you could do to teach in your classroom with grams is have the children like fill it and then try to find something in the classroom that has similar weight. Like for one gram, you would probably find like a paper clip. And then for 10, maybe a pencil cap or a pencil or a pen cap or a pencil. The same can be said with the five. And then the 20, it's a little heavier, so it may be kind of like a bouncy ball. But then you come to the kilogram. In my mentor teacher's class, the kilogram was about the same weight as a big bucket of pins. So it might be kind of hard for them to find it, but when, they be, when they're able to find it, they can actually visualize what a kilogram looks like. And the same can be said for the rest of these. 